Okay, for this uh, poor man's ball ball uh, ball joint, uh, all that's necessary, and as I said, out on the internet, a lot of guys put them together, uh, make them look real pretty. You get two inch and a half uh, plumbing flanges and uh, an inch and a half ball or an inch and a half trailer hitch ball. Then you have to take that ball and grind it down here so you get a straight shaft. Now, with mine, I just put, there we are, I just put some wing nuts on there, which gives you a fair amount of friction. If you have something heavy, you're going to need to put nuts and really hunker it down. But, it does give you a fair angle of throw uh, to be able to, uh, uh, when you set the vise on, to give some different uh, attitudes Toward what toward the project you're working on. Um, the interesting thing is this this fine thread, and I'm sorry I've forgotten what the thread pitch is. Even though it's not the same, it, it's just a straight machine thread, and then obviously the uh, uh, counter uh, the, the counter flange here. And I'm sorry, this flange is a half inch flange, half inch bolt. Uh, even though that's a tapered thread, this with to my surprise, this will go in here, and it will tighten up. And then you go out and buy a locking nut, or buy a, buy a nut and then locks it in. It works quite well. Obviously, you see what I did is I countersunk, I put two pieces of plywood, countersunk it, so that if I want to take uh, this, uh, this plate and then just clamp it right down to the work table, I can, or I can come over here and put it on this. Now, another thing that I did, and it helps a little, but it's not crucial, is I took the uh, the nipple of the flange that has all the threads on it and I just cut it off and then ground it down smooth it does give you I measured it I think it's two or somewhere between two and four more angles uh, or two more two to four more degree of angle on this all the way around here again that's not that crucial of this but it was something I did what would really help is if you may or may not be able to see is if I went down into the ball itself and ground some more off of it. But as much throw as it gives me, for anything I'm going to do, I just can't foresee needing to do that. Uh, the whole cost on this thing, I'm for, I had the ball sitting around here, I don't know what they are out there now, five, eight bucks, and the flanges are just ridiculous in my mind, but uh, they're somewhere between eight and ten dollars each. So you get about thirty dollars in this before it's over with.